Hi, Lori Van here, and I just wanted to read a verse that I think is very topical, uh, very timely, and it comes out of Proverbs. It's, The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. And it goes on, because these are some thoughts from a person named Phil Ware, and it talks about just, well, to break it down, there's a difference between people that try to leave, live, let's say, a healthy life, a mature life, a productive life. People that are survivors, but more importantly, they're thrivers in life. And then Proverbs calls them wicked people, but I would say maybe that's an emotionally immature person. Maybe it's someone that's unhealthy, emotionally unsafe. And those individuals, unfortunately, their actions tell on them. Their actions show their emotional immaturity. They're the ones that, I don't get my way, so now I'm going to pout and go home. They're passive-aggressive in nature. And, and a lot of this goes into a seminar that I give on boundaries and safe and unsafe people and your personal bill of rights and things of that nature. But really just wanted to, to just, I guess, give you some of that food for thought and to really ask yourself, are you being a righteous person or emotionally mature person, a healthy individual? Are you helping to spread a message of love? Or are you being immature and passive-aggressive or just maybe aggressive and being hateful and mean-spirited? And because I didn't get my way, now I'm going to be a bully back to you. And I think we're seeing a whole lot of that in today's world. And I would call upon our political leaders to act emotionally mature. That let's heal this great divide in the U.S., but that needs to come down from our politicians and from our pulpits and social media and our religious organizations in, in Hollywood as well. Because I see a great hypocrisy taking place of, let's all talk about love and unity. And a lot of these groups are the ones that are spreading hatred and division and negativity. And instead of love thy neighbor. And just because you disagree with them doesn't mean you hate on them. There's a verse in the New Testament that talks about basically when people prosecute you, or, or rather persecute you, when they're being hateful, when they're being bullies, when they're being negative, that you are to rise above that. You are to be emotionally mature. You are to show them the exact opposite of what they expect. And so this is a call out to a lot of people out there that are spreading hate and trying to do the, well, they started it first, so I'm going to continue to be hateful back. It doesn't make sense. And you're totally undoing your cause. So instead, take a lesson from the New Testament because there's a valid point. Because when you react to people in the opposite way that they are expecting, when you react with love and patience and understanding, it's as if you heap coals upon their head. So it's your, I guess, assertive, productive way to get back at the people that you're upset at. You take that higher road. You want your voice to be listened to. You want to be taken seriously. That's the way to do it. React with emotional maturity. Don't lower yourself to everyone else's level because you discredit yourself and you discredit your cause. So these are just some thoughts for today. Hopefully it will inspire you to act emotionally mature, to try to be a healthier person, and to spread love, people. Spread patience and understanding. And even if someone disagrees with you, 
Take the higher road for Pete's sakes, because that's how you further your cause. That's how you get people to listen to you. So just Lori Van here, uh, giving you some thoughts to, to think about for today. Thank you.